Hasselblad H6D 100 megapixel. This is Daryl Green, who was my assistant for many years. He is a landscape photographer, mm -hmm. fine art photographer. You make videos, you mm -hmm. do all kinds of things like that. Mm -hmm. You're starting a YouTube channel. I am starting a YouTube channel. Look up Daryl Green on YouTube. There you go. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is I've been using Hasselblad cameras for a long time. Uh, and I use film ones, I use digital ones. Mm -hmm. This, in my opinion and yours, is the best digital camera ever? Quite possibly ever, yes. Okay. Yes. So why, in your opinion, because when we tested this, Hasselblad mm -hmm. sent this camera to me, mm -hmm. and we tested it, and you were very adamant that I had to own it. Yes, just because of the quality of the colors. I mean... We mostly take photos just because of what we can get out of them as far as uh, the colors and the detail. And this camera checks off those boxes. And I remember when we took the first kind of test shot with this, mm -hmm. I did a ballet photo with this camera. You said to me, that's the closest thing to film mm -hmm. that I've ever seen. Correct. Facets. So Daryl mainly shoots 4x5 film, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. shoot Fuji, you shoot Kodak, I mean, you know, yeah. the whole kind of deal. And how would you say that this compares to you in terms of the 4x5? Oof. It's close? It's really close. I'm not going to, you it's, don't need to say it. I, I can't, it. I can't right, right, say right. that it's going to beat, right. beat film, I'm just saying. Sure. But it's damn close. Right. I mean, it's the detail. It's 100 megapixels, first of all. That's a lot. And a Hasselblad for that. I mean, that's... Okay, so whenever I get a camera, uh, whenever anybody sends me a camera or anything, Daryl... So with this one, the menu is different. Yeah, the menu is different than the H5D. Uh, uh, there's a couple of quick shortcuts that are into this uh, 6D that's not in the 5. Uh, that just makes things a lot more accessible. You know what I mean? So just so everybody knows, this camera, as with many of my other digital Hasselblads that I use, we will use the digital back mm -hmm. and then we will take the digital back off and we will put a film back on. So a lot of the times, now again, that's not every time. Mm -hmm. Obviously some photos are digital and that's, and that's great. But a lot of the times we use this so that we can see exactly what mm -hmm. we're doing. And we noticed something really interesting on this camera, mm -hmm. which was the crop factor. Correct. We do a four five crop, yeah, six so you, seven. So you've got six six, mm -hmm. six seven, four by five, four by five. even X pan. X pan, one to one. Right. And what's interesting about that, and I know there's a lot of people out there probably mm -hmm. right now in this point that's like, why would anyone spend the money on this camera? And why would you want to crop it in the back? Well, the interesting thing is this. Firstly, if you crop the image on the back, you're seeing what a 6.6 six crop would look like, mm -hmm. but it still gives you the full, the full file. Image, yeah. So if you have an X-Pan or you have a Hasselblad 503 mm -hmm. or you're just going to shoot it on this and crop it square, you can see exactly what mm -hmm. that crop would look like. For you, mm -hmm. you do 4x5. I can already see what the square is going to look like with this. I can know mm -hmm. exactly where to put somebody. Exactly. I can know the exact thing that mm -hmm. it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. Boom, I switch to the film. Done. Done deal. Now, I think <clears throat> what's important for me to say to people out there is I know that these cameras, even the medium format one, people are always like, well, they're so expensive. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. And people think, oh, you've got to be stupid to spend that amount of money. Yes. But let's say you're a fine art photographer or I, I don't, it doesn't really matter what kind of photography you do. It really doesn't. What's the difference to you between this and like a Nikon or a Canon or a Sony? The quality of the image. Your final product is gallery quality. Right. I mean, not to say that in Nikon, Canon, Leica or any of the other companies don't have that. I just know from using it myself that you're going to get the richest reds, very brilliant yellows, and luscious blues. That's just what's going to happen. So, again, it doesn't matter. If mm -hmm. you take a great picture on any camera, it, then it's going to be great. It's going to be good. That's just but, great. for me, when I started getting into Hasselblad, it changed my work and it changed mm -hmm. my prints. Correct. It took it to a whole other level. Correct. And this camera specifically has a way that it captures color. 
mm -hmm. um, that I've never seen in a digital camera. Mm -hmm. And it has a tone and a feel to it Correct. that I've never seen with a digital camera. Okay, so this comes off. There's your 100 megapixel sensor. There's your back. CF card goes in here, all mm -hmm. that. But what's great is when we take this off, I can put the film back on right there, mm -hmm. and then everything's ready to go. So just, that's it. And just so you know, it shoots 120 mil film in the film holder in the back. That's so. right. Yeah. Look, this is not going to be your everyday camera. If you're a YouTuber mm -hmm. or, you know, you're just taking pictures for Instagram, yeah. maybe this isn't for you. But if you want to be a professional mm -hmm. and you really want to go to another level, mm -hmm. I mean, it's heavy, it's slow. 1.5 uh, frames, frames a second. A second yeah. But, and again, it's not for everybody, but if this is even remotely mm -hmm. right for you, it will change everything about your work. Yeah. And again, um, even if you're not gonna buy one of these, for me, it's like you rent one of these. Mm -hmm. Any, If you wanna do any type of bigger jobs, these are the ones they want you to shoot on. Yeah. So I think people get intimidated by this camera. Yeah, I mean, the price is the big deterring factor for most people. Right. Uh, most people don't have the, money, know, to pay. the money to pay. Sure. But if you, can you're, rent it. if you can rent these cameras, which you right. can for right. a very inexpensive amount of money, right. uh, your work can go from here to here. Literally out of the frame. Uh, <laughs> I... I, I push everybody to get one of these cameras or yeah. to use one. At least use it. And by the way, this is not sponsored by Hasselblad in any not way. Not at all. I've shot on one of what variation of this camera now for a long time. And I take them everywhere. I take them into a pond. I you know, I've got them in a field. I'm flying an airplane with it in my lap. I mean, I've literally taken these cameras everywhere. And somebody said to me once they're like, "Well, those are just studio cameras." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh no." Um Okay, so where can people find you? You can find me on Daryl Green YouTube. You can find me on Instagram at Daryl T. Green. You can find my website at www.darylttgreen.com. Beautiful. I think they only care about the Instagram or the YouTube, Daryl. Well, just look up Daryl Green. You'll find me. It is. So this is the Hasselblad H60. Um, and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you want to see any more videos like this. Check out Daryl's page. I'll link to his Instagram in the description. And um, I'll put in some photos and some video of the inner workings of this camera. All right? All right. Later, guys.